Well, hello there, folks. How's it going today? Hope everyone's doing really good. I got a little shop hack I'd like to show you. I'm putting my guitar back together, and uh, naturally, some of the holes are stripped out. So, I know what you're thinking already. Yeah, you're going to glue some toothpicks in there, Jughead. Uh, actually, I'm not going to glue any toothpicks in there. Uh, that's the hack. You don't have to glue them in. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to stick a toothpick in here, and I'm going to break her off right there, right? Then I like to pull that piece out. I take my little uh, cutters here and just probably snip that much of it off. Drop it back down in the hole there. And uh, you guys know what's going to happen next, right? All right. So, without gluing the toothpick in, I can already feel it going in nice and tight. You can see it cinching the pit guard down. I mean, that's as tight as brand new. Uh, you don't have to glue them in there, folks. That's just the way it goes. I have glued them in in the past, but uh, really, you don't have to. So I'm just going to go around and uh, probably do most of them. I'm going to do one back here next, so it's not just uh, in a row. We want to do... A, you know, cross corner them and that kind of thing. I like to at least, so. All right, so again, we're just gonna snip a little bit of that off and drop that down in the hole. I got super glue stuck on my thumbnail from yesterday's deal. Ah, uh, it's the perils of fixing guitars, guys. Okay, here we go. Same procedure and not every one of these was stripped, but most of them were. Okay, you can see it pulled the pit guard right down. Let's get them two right now while we're here. Okay, so I am using the new end of a toothpick every time, though. Uh, I don't want it to be too big in diameter. Uh, that way... I gotta get that piece out. That one kind of splinted on me, but that's okay. I just dropped the other piece back in there. And uh, we'll put the screw in. Hopefully a little straighter. Okay. I just wanna try to straighten it up as best I can. Cause it was in at an angle before. There we go. Cinched it right down in good shape. Okay, let's do this one while we're right here. So, you know, hopefully this helps you guys out. You don't even need glue, guys. You could do that at a at a club if you needed to. They got toothpicks usually there, right? At a restaurant or a bar. At least they used to. All right. I mean, them are tightening in there just like the, the day it was made. So hopefully this helps, guys. This is just a quick little video. And uh, you run into this a lot. So I figured it'd be a good little, little video to post. And uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. You know, when you do put your guitars back together. I did notice this one uh, when I tore it apart. A couple screws had fallen out. So they weren't in there very tight. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to probably just continue to go right around here right now. And uh, complete the process. Like I said, it's it's nothing to it. You just... I do use this uh, new end of the toothpick though. So just nip that off. Drop it down in the hole. And we should be in good shape.
And like I said, some of these screws were in really crooked and they just uh, wasn't holding anything. The holes have been stripped out before, so I'm thinking somebody probably put bigger screws in it, you know, and its previous life. There, boy, that one went in nice and dry. That's a good thing. Uh, I don't even remember what even possessed me to uh, try this without glue. But I, uh, I did somewhere along the line, and luckily I remembered it. But, yeah, uh, there's nothing more aggravating than that when you... Putting something back together, especially the pit guard, because if it doesn't, uh, boy, them are some, I mean, it feels like I'm going into brand new wood there, even. Uh, it works, works really well, guys. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you, you can tell when the, uh, the screws stripped out because the pit guard will be lifted up off the guitar in that spot normally. Uh, which just drives me nuts usually when I look down at it. So I'm going around all of them just because. For the amount of time it takes to uh, drop that piece of toothpick in there. It's not even worth testing to see if it's stripped or not you might as well just do it and get it over with in my opinion okay so we've got uh two more i think three more we're gaining uh, let's see uh, there's still a piece stuck in there sometimes that will happen because they will splinter a little bit sometimes when you uh, break them off, but it really doesn't matter. I don't even think you need the whole piece, but, you know, even if you put a sliver in there, I can already feel that's tight. Yeah, perfect. So we got two more and we're done. Uh, I was just going to do a quick video, but if you guys are still with me, You might as well finish it, right? Okay. So I got a little bit of a tail on that one we got to get rid of. And we're just going to hit that one. All right. Uh, I got to find a couple more screws. I got one right in my hand. I was going to put gold in here for screws, but I'm all out. I got to order some more because it does it just to break it up a little bit. And I got the gold saddles, which I didn't order them like that. The guy sent them to me and uh, I just went with it. So, all right, last one. I got to dig in the box and find another screw. That looks like a good one right there. All right. I can't wait to try this guitar out now. I've always wanted to have this set up like this, and uh, I just finally got around to it and did it. This guitar has been a pat. That's probably why the screws are stripped, too. This has been a pat so many times in its life that it's scary. Okay, so we got push pulls on the volumes and uh, just a master tone here and a three way. So we're all set up for coil split. Uh, basically, the last thing we got to do to this one is put the neck back on it, but uh, not a big deal. Anyway, folks, I just wanted to share this little hack with you. Uh, I guarantee somebody out there has stripped holes in their Stratocaster body. And that's an easy way to fix it. No glue, uh, no worries. You can do it in literally seconds. So 
hope this helps guys and uh i really appreciate all the views and all the all the uh comments you guys leave that's really thoughtful um i guess we gotta put the knobs back on here too uh, i got a volume and two tones so we're gonna put the volume one on the tone and i'm gonna push these back down and the volume ones say tone now one thing that's what i want to check is to see if the knobs pull off when you use push pull sometimes you gotta have a a good knob that's got some really tight splines on it but that works good i mean i can pick the guitar rate right up no problem all right and they are a little bit taller than the tone not much but it's good right there because i can actually you know just reach down and and grab under the lip if i need to and that'll work just great Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the views and support. Like I said, welcome to all the new subscribers. And uh, we're almost back together on this one. I'll be shooting a video on a sound demo real soon. Okie doke, guys. Be good.